Hello everybody and welcome to your last tutorial on learning how to uh, handle anim um, screen transition animation um, in our platform or game. So we ended off with this function right here and um, what we got to do is we got to change this to greater than or equal to 1 and we got to add in an else statement and don't worry I'll, I'll, I'll explain this in a second fade dot get alpha that's an equal to 0 0.0 0 f and we'll set transition equal to false and we'll set fade dot set active equals to false okay and okay so what why did I change okay I Oh, should be else if okay is that good okay yeah, everything's fine okay so why did I do this okay uh why did I change it from one um to zero right it should be zero because if if the if, if it shows zero then that means the alpha value is zero which means nothing showing which means to transition the screen and then when alpha set to one then we should um stop transitioning right because that everything should be showing so why is it the other way around why do we fade out why is it considered faded out when we have the value one and it considered fading in when we have the value zero right it seems backwards the reason being is this so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna um we're gonna create a shape okay and we'll call it fade and we're gonna set it equal to sf shape rectangle now um the reason what the way shapes work in sfml when you initialize them they're not in world coordinates yet they're in a different type of coordinate right so what you should do by default is and if you haven't watched my uh if you've watched my sfml tutorials and you will understand what i'm talking about uh, uh but if you haven't then um it's fine if you just do this and it should be fine what you really need to do is just set the color equal to white even though you don't want the clear color to be the fade color to be white set it to white and what we're going to do now is for the window dot clear what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this okay so in the update section we're going to say fade dot set color and we're going to set the color to sf color and we'll put zero 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 and we'll say 255 times screen manager get instance get alpha okay uh, I think that is correct okay so we got that set up so right after our draw command what we need to call is window dot draw and we draw our fade so what is this doing it's gonna be drawing a black rectangle after our our draw command and you're like why are we doing this well this is what's gonna happen notice okay our alpha value ranges from 0 to 1 right so we have to multiply it by 255 to give us the the actual current alpha between the value 0 and 255 so anyways uh what this is gonna do is that it's going to draw a, a black rectangle def and based on the alpha it'll be either showing or not so when the black rectangle is fully showing that means everything is going to be covering everything in the game world right meaning it is completely faded out when the black box is not showing then it's going to be showing everything in the game world or in, in the in the game itself so therefore, when it has a value, a alpha value of 255, or in the, in the terms of the animation class, when it has a value, an alpha value of 1.0f, that means uh, that the whole black rectangle is showing, which means it's covering up all the game elements, which means it's completely faded out. And then when the alpha value is equal to zero, when the when the black box is faded out therefore it's going to show all the other types of game elements so that's why it seems kind of backwards but um i hope you can actually grasp um that concept um so we got that set up on um, the transition and what we got to do is in our update uh section we got to say that if not transition then we update 
and uh, we put transition in there and we have to put in our window okay so we're not gonna call fade.draw because we have nothing to draw we're just using it for the update function to update the alpha right so we don't need the draw command from that okay so now we need to go to animation.cpp and in the update uh, we forgot to add in the render window uh, so don't forget to add that uh, so if we go back to our animation.cpp if you remember we set a virtual void set alpha and the reason why we have virtual void is for this reason so what we're gonna call what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say an animation set alpha now we should have a float uh, value in there and we'll set alpha equals to the value uh, so in here flow alpha so if we go to fade animation uh, dot h and just open up the cpp file as well uh, so in fade animation dot h we're going to call uh, void set alpha flow value okay and let's go to the bottom we'll call fade animation set alpha float value and this is going to be the difference so we're going to set alpha equals to value but the difference is that we're going to say that if alpha is equal to 0, 0.0 f uh, then increase is equal to true else increase is equal to false so why do we do this well by default our alpha value is set to 1 but we don't want if we're in our screen manager class we don't want our default alpha to be equal to 1 we want it to be default equal to 0 but if we set it to 0 and we set alpha equal to 0 increase is still going to be equal to false now um, if increase is equal to false it's going to catch it over here right and our else statement it will set else if to true right uh, so it doesn't really matter um, which one you do but for one frame it's going to miss an update it's going to set it to an uh, even lower value than we want and we don't want to have to do that right um, we don't want to have to miss a frame because of that like especially maybe on slower computers it will be more evident on faster computers it won't be that evident uh, but we don't really want to skip a frame if we don't have to so we have that there just in case and that's why we have the virtual there um, let me override it in our fade animation class so what we're gonna do in screen manager after our load content then we call fade dot set alpha and we set it equal to zero why is it after load content because in fade dot cpp when we call load content that's when we set the values uh, we call animation dot load content which sets the default alpha value and we set a default value for increase so if we call it before it if we call set alpha before it, then it's just going to override what we did, which is not what we want, and therefore we're going to get undesirable results. Okay, uh, so in in the ad screen, uh, I guess in the ad screen, by default, um, the alpha is going to be set to zero, but just to be on the safe side for anything, you can say set alpha is equal to 0.0f if you like to do that. Um, so let's build this project and let's run it and see if it runs smoothly. Uh, so right now it's just building everything. It's going to take a while. Okay, so it's done building. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, so right now we see splash screen. So when I press the enter key, so it's not transitioning, which is not the desired result. And the reason be for that is because of our fade speed now remember we're multiplying our fade speed by window dot get frame time now I believe if I if I okay I'm going to put a breakpoint here so if I check my get frame time at the bottom so let me uh, kind of move this down uh, so I'm not sure if the frame time okay so my last frame I believe this is the frame time I'm not really sure but the frame time is uh, whatever like point something of a second right but if we do that times a hundred so let's just say uh, 0005 okay um, 
take out the calculator. Uh, a hundred um, times point zero zero five. So we get we get the value point five, right? And the problem is that if point five is halfway to to one, so in t just two frames we're gonna fade in and fade out, and that is entirely too quick. That is not what we want. We don't want to fade in that quickly. Um, so this is how we're going to solve that. All we have to do is change the fade speed. So let's change the fade speed to 1.0. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. I got to re rerun this. So we could press the enter key, it fades out, and then it fades back in. You press it again, it fades out, it goes to the next screen. Uh, so um, that is basically it for this, this tutorial. Um, uh, just just a little quick note, if you don't want to work with alphas work ranging from 1 to 0 or anything, then you can always um, switch from the format from 0 to 255. Also, if you don't want to go based on the frame time, if that stuff confuses you, then it's up to you. You can remove it, right? Just the windows that get frame time will ensure that it runs at the same speed on every computer. So even if another computer's hardware is super fast, um, it will run uh, generally the same speed on every computer. Well, but that is um, more about that in later tutorials. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.